is Clint playing the basic scale? Well, the title of this uh, flute cast is called The Scale Song, and it's a, a technique that I learned from Doc Green Silverhawk a couple of years ago. Um, it's what he uses with novices who have learned that basic scale, who have learned to cover all the finger holes and go up and down the basic pentatonic minor scale. Once you get to that point, you feel comfortable with it, you want to move on. You want to go on to something that sounds more like a song. And sometimes um, the advice is just go and improvise, uh, just go out and play your heart. And that's a big leap for uh, a lot of times for novices, uh, to just go on and improvise from playing that basic scale. And so the scale song is a way to bridge that gap, to move more towards improvisation but build on using that basic uh, scale that they've learned. I'm going to do it on this uh, very cool recreation of a Taos Pueblo flute. Uh, it's got a very interesting design and a very interesting sound. Now, before we dive into the scale song itself, we're going to do a little exercise, which is to pick a note. I'm going to pick this middle note, and we're going to, just using that pitch, explore what kind of improvisation we can do, just keeping those top three fingers down. I can play the note. I can add vibrato. I can change dynamics, loud, soft. Notice I'm also using articulation, ta, ta, ta. I can use different articulations like ka and ra, or ha, even softer. I can introduce some kind of a rhythm. Taka, taka, taka. Double tonguing. I can include silence. All kinds of things. Really explore the kind of um, things you can do within a single note. Because we're going to use those improvisations in the scale song. The rule of the scale song is simple. Play the scale up and down. When you get to the top, reverse directions and go back down. When you get to the bottom, reverse directions and come back up and keep going. But the rule is you can stop anywhere you want and improvise there. Improvise on that note, and when you continue, keep going in the same direction. You're never reversing directions unless you are reversing at the top or at the bottom. Basic scale song might sound like this. it begins to sound like an actual song, and the only thing you're asking uh, new students to do is stop anywhere they want and do whatever they want and then keep on going. They're comfortable with it because they're just playing the scale with an occasional pause to do something. And all of a sudden, the listeners aren't hearing the simple scale going up and down. They're hearing what sounds like a song, and it really is inspiring. It really moves uh, new players and novice players forward very quickly. Here's another scale song. I'll keep doing it just because I love to do it. That's it for the scale song. I hope you can uh, put that to good use, uh, use it in your music, uh, use it when you're teaching, uh, and use it uh, in all the circles you can uh, to help uh, new players access uh, their musicality uh, without getting too complicated or without asking too much of them. And as always, I hope you can join us down the road at uh, some festival, some flute school, 
some uh, flute circle, some flute retreat, or a workshop uh, that Vera and I lead. Uh, we hope to see you in the future. Before we start on the scale song itself, guess I should have turned the phone off before doing this. <clears throat> Hang on. Well, let's just let it run. Come on. Okay, let me turn off the phone. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Where were we?